In this video, I'm gonna show you how to import stickers and logos and this kind of things to your car designs in Blender. Doesn't have to be car design, you can import them into any type of project. It will be super simple and super fast. And if you stick to the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to make them with the emission shader so they will be glowing around and it's always fun to play with it. We're gonna use this car behind me. It is from my Blender for Car Designers beginners course and you can find more details on my website. Let's jump into Blender. All right, here we are. Here is the car. It's like the final version from the course without the stickers and the logos. It will be so simple. The first thing we need to do is go to edit, preference, add-ons and search for image. And here you will find the import export images as planes. So turn it on. Then we have image and images as planes here. Then we pick the logo or the images that we want to import. Let's start with the mini logo because this is a mini. It is so simple. Let me show you on the side of the car. G, Z, G, Y, G, X a little bit. So I moved it outside. As I see the logo is flipped, so I'm gonna make it SY minus one to scale it minus one on the Y axis, basically flipping it. I will go to side of you, scale it down, like move it around as I want, wherever I want. And I want it to be around the door. So first I will get close to the door, but when it starts to intersect, I will already stop it. We don't need to be perfect. So as you see, we have the gap between the car door and the logo because the door is with a little bit of curvy and the image is just a simple plane. So how to do it is the shrink wrap. I don't know if you are surprised, but I will hit control two first for subdivision to do the shrink wrap correctly. But when I do the subdivision, the logo is totally broken because it tried to smooth it. And to avoid this, I will go to my modifier tab on the subdivision rather than Catmull Clark, I will hit simple. So this way it subdiv subdivided my image. However, it keeps the corners in a simple way. And then I'm gonna go to shrink wrap modifier, pick the car as the target. So it's shrink wrapped to the car, but we don't see it because it's totally within the, in the same level with the surface. So I'm gonna offset it a little bit out, just like that, and maybe right click shade smooth. So as you see, the logo is now shrink wrapped to the surface of my car. I can also increase the subdivision a little bit to make it even so smoother, both on render and the viewport. And that's it. If I wanna move the logo, it will still try to stick to the surface, but it's better to turn off shrink wrap and then decide your location Try to like rotate it a little bit, bring it closer to surface to be sure that just to help Blender to make it possible in the best way. So when I shrink wrap again, as you see, it wraps around the surface in a very good way. At this stage, if we hit the render, we will not have any problem on EV, most probably. But if you render on cycles, you might have a problem like this. As you see, because of we offset the shrink wrap a little bit, the sticker, the image plane has also the shadows coming to the car and it gives this unpleasant effect. It doesn't look like a sticker anymore. So to avoid this, we need to pick the logo, go to object properties here, and on the ray visibility, we can uncheck all the boxes and keep only the camera. So let's go back and render one more time. As you see, we fixed that problem. So there's no more shadow and it looks like a sticker now. Now it's time for the fun stuff. I will just shift A, image, image as planes, and I'm gonna add another logo, which will be the Blender Man. Again, SY minus one to flip it, scale it down. I want it to be on the center of my rim. So this is not about shrink wrap or putting on a surface. I want it to be floating there because the fun part is making it glowing. So let's go to the material shader editor on the object. Here you can see by default, it attached the color to the base color of the material and alpha to the alpha. This way it used my PNG without the background. By the way, yeah, if I didn't mention, you, it's better to have transparent background PNGs to keep only the logo. So what I want to do here is I'm going to remove the base color so it became white automatically. I can go to black. It's a simple principled material right now. I'm going to go to emission, just increase the emission a little bit bluish and increase the strength. Strength, As you see, it's already glowing. But wait a second, because we need to be sure about something. If it doesn't work, if your logo doesn't glow, you need to go to the render properties here. Rather than cycles, let's go to EV and you need to check the box bloom. Even if you check the box and it still doesn't bloom, you need to play with this threshold here. The lower the threshold, everything will start to glow more and more. So you need to find this nice balance between the threshold of bloom and the emission strength. So let's go back to the tutorial. So I can just move it inside somewhere I want. Let's do it from the side view. And here we go. We have our logo glowing there. It's like a floating image, basically floating PNG. Let's try it also with this mini logo. If it's not floating on the mini, I do the same. Basically, I remove the base color. Why did I make it black? Let me also show you this because if I now change the emission to glowing color and then 
increase the strength sometimes you can see the frame of the color of it that's why i want to keep it black the base color it affects in a better in that case we didn't face any problem but sometimes if you have i don't know maybe a different color it might affect depending on the strength of your emission for example here like from red base to emission as you see depends on the changes you want to have but i prefer to keep it by default as black so this way we will see the real color of emission without worrying about the strength of it so it's a very nice trick you can also play with like some light lines on the car you know you can design anything you want and make it stick you to your car and it's super simple you can use it on many use cases also for race cars some stickers you know you can put full of stickers around your car but if you don't have a car in blender and if you don't know how to model your own designs i can highly recommend you my own online course blender 3d for car design beginners level you can see it on my website and if you watch the video until here i would really appreciate a like on the like button thanks for watching see you in the next video